Most woodworkers don't use calipers in their shop for a couple reasons. First, the numbers and the lines on the dials are very small and very difficult to read. Second, if they're like the caliper I'm holding here, they read in thousandths of an inch. In our shop, we don't use thousandths, we use fractions. Trying to convert to thousandths over a fraction is very challenging to do in the shop. So let me introduce you to our six inch woodworker's caliper. What we've done on it is we've incorporated a digital readout with nice large numbers which make it very easy to read. It reads in fractions, thousandths, and millimeter sizes. Now unlike a standard caliper that really only gives you two dimensions, our woodworker's caliper actually gives you four. We've given you a thickness, we've given you an inside dimension, we've also machined the head of the caliper to the sliding head so that this will give you a height gauge and on the back side of the tool we've also machined the slide bar to the base of the caliper and this actually gives you a depth gauge. Our caliper also includes on the back side a handy scale that converts from thousands to fractions to decimals which allows you as a quick reference. The caliper is also made out of a hardened stainless steel We've got a roller guide back here which makes it very easy to micro adjust and we've incorporated a locking knob on the top side so it allows us to actually lock in a measurement and transfer it over to our projects. Let's show you how we actually set up the tool. To start using your woodworker's caliper, the first thing you need to do is install the battery and replace the battery cover. The next thing you need to do is to zero out your tool. We do this by first turning the caliper on sliding the caliper head till they touch and zeroing out the tool. Now one of the nice features about our caliper is that it also functions as a conversion tool. If we open up the caliper here, let's just say we open this up to one eighth of an inch and you'd like to know the millimeter size, all you need to do is hit the button and it converts it to your millimeter which is 3.28 if you'd like to know what one eighth is in thousands of an inch, hit the button one more time and you can see we're a .129 in thousands of an inch. Or if you'd like to go back to your fractions, hit the button again and we're back to one eighth. Now the caliper also works as a handy device for being able to tell the difference between thickness of stock or thickness of measurement. A lot of people don't realize this about a fractional caliper. Let me show you how we're going to use this. We've actually got it set up right now at one eighth of an inch. What we're going to do is we're going to lock it into place temporarily, hit our zero button to zero out the tool. Now once we have it re-zeroed, we know that we've zeroed it at the eighth inch. We're going to unlock the tool. We're going to go ahead and grab a piece of half inch stock here. As we open up this tool, back and place that in between the jaws and close it back down to read on there, you can see that we're actually off by 3 eighths of an inch. That's a half inch piece of stock. 3 eighths plus 1 eighth equals the half inch stock. This allows us a very simple method to check the differences when we lay out for doing dados or different thickness stock in our project to get a reference point. Now let me show you some other ways on how we actually use the tool. using your caliper as a marking device. This is a very handy feature in the shop for laying out rabbits, dovetails, or any other measurement that is critical from the edge of your stock. Now, we start by zeroing out our caliper, making sure we're at zero, and let's go ahead and open this up to a set measurement. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and hit three quarters of an inch. Once you have it set as far as the measurement, you wanna lock it into place to make sure the measurement doesn't move on you while you transfer it to your project. Now what we're using on our tool here, let's flip it over and take a look, we're actually going to be using the edge of the slide arm to ride up against the edge of our stock and we're going to mark it by using our pencil up against the head of our caliper. We simply take our caliper, set it on top of our stock, slide it over until it touches the inside edge of the slide arm, place our pencil at the top side and go ahead and transfer that mark. And that is a perfect three quarter inch mark.
using your calipers for setting up dados. We've gone ahead and cut a sample into a scrap piece of lumber and now it's time to calibrate your dado. We start out by zeroing out our calipers. We're going to use the inside dimension on the caliper to take a reading. Place that inside the dado and open it up till we touch the inside edges of the dado. In this case we read 33 64 of an inch. Now we could try to play around with shims by adding or removing to get the mark set for the stock that we're trying to cut. Or in this case I'm actually going to use the calipers to give me an exact measurement of what I need to adjust my dado. Remember the calipers can be used like a calculator. The way we do that is once we have our inside reading we go ahead and zero out the tool. With the tool zeroed out we're now going to take the piece of stock that we're trying to cut for, place that in between the jaws of our caliper and close the jaws onto that stock. In this case you can see it reads minus 1 64th of an inch. What that means is I need to remove 1 64th of an inch shim from my dado set to get a nice tight fit. Now once we've adjust for the width we're going to adjust for the depth. To get a depth reading we now have to re-zero out the tool, we close it back down and as you can see here it reads negative 33 64 so we want to make sure that we're back at zero by hitting the zero button. Now that you've zeroed out your tool we're ready to take our depth reading. We're using the slide rod of our caliper up against the top head of our caliper to achieve that. Simply take your caliper, place that into the depth of the dado and slide the head assembly down till we touch the top edge of the stock to get our reading. In this case you can clearly see that we read 7 16ths of an inch and if we want to adjust our dado simply raise or lower to get the correct depth. Using your calipers as a depth gauge we've already zeroed out our tool and to get a measurement off our caliper we're going to use the back side of the caliper again very similar to how we used it for laying out a measurement. We're going to use the top edge of the caliper and the top slide arm. Now to get this reading it's very simple. We can use this on a table saw for saw blades or router bits or dado heights. Raise your caliper head up, turn it upright on edge and place it down on the top that you're trying to get a reading. Slide that down until we touch the top edge of the router bit against the back side of the slide head. In this case you can see that we're set at 19 seconds of an inch.